Good morning everybody. We are off to London today, aren't we? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it is the start of my birthday celebrations. It's finally time. It's been a week because I'm basically taking a week and a half off, which I never ever do and uh, basically when you work for yourself it doesn't mean that you're actually taking time off it just means you're doing the same amount of work but either side of the time that you are <laughs> off so I am like so happy to have made it through my to-do list I honestly cannot tell you the fun starts now I'm so excited we're gonna spend a few days in London together and then we're coming back down here to continue the birthday celebrations so I'm gonna bring you along with me this might have to be split into two vlogs so it might be that London is one vlog and then I don't know the rest of my birthday is in another vlog but yeah I'm very excited also I am wearing blush today a new blush and how much blush is too much blush like did I go overboard do we like I feel a bit like too made up so hmm, I don't know I don't know if I'll do this again tomorrow but yeah we have some very glowy very pinky makeup today and you will have seen my outfit for this morning and this afternoon in my last video which was of what I wore in a week so if you want to see what I've been wearing recently go and watch that video but yeah we are gonna leave my very messy kitchen now and go to London this kitchen is fried Amy's problem <laughs> I'm leaving it for her and I'm gonna really not thank myself for it come Friday when we have our friends over are you ready <laughs> you look so ready So we have arrived, we are getting ready for dinner. I think we're gonna try and see if we can get into the shoe. It annoys me that they won't do a dinner booking for this evening, but let's hope because I would really like some curry. We actually got to London ages ago, but number one, I forgot my SD card adapter, so I had to go to Apple for a new one. My brain is really not working. I also <laughs> forgot a whole outfit, so this is not meant to be what I'm wearing tonight. It's a very good excuse to go shopping tomorrow, so I'm gonna stick with that. So basically went to Apple, then came back here, sat in bed and sent some footage did some work for about an hour and then just like sat in bed just really you know making myself at home but yeah now we are ready for dinner we also have drinks later which i'm really looking forward to i've just topped up my makeup so it's looking nice and glowy ryan's over here in his new jumper which is very cute would you like to show the people your jumper he's very happy with it <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is how the room is looking. Obviously, we have completely messed up the bed now. Yeah, it's very, very nice in here. Ryan's really enjoying the back of the door. Do you want to show people your little catwalk you just did for me, or is that just for me? Okay, hang on. We're waiting. Your fans are waiting. Come on. He actually strutted right the way up to the mirror and did some posing as well. It was really magical. So yeah, it's got a lovely little bathroom in here. We've got matching his and hers little beauty bags from Fenwick. So just looking really, really cute. And then we have the wardrobe over here, which like slides closed. It's all very minimalist here. And I really like that. This is how our outfits are shaping up for the next few days. My rail is obviously looking a lot less full than usual because your girl forgot a whole outfit. Honestly, rookie error, but yeah. This is what I'm going to be wearing over the next couple of days. So very excited for you to see those as we go through. I'm actually going to wear this jacket for dinner this evening just to wear to the restaurant. And then we got my bag and shoes. Yeah, this is what I'm wearing at the moment. So we've got my All Saints leggings, a Zara black body, and then my Zara little khaki boots just really trying to make the best of the fact that i was not planning on wearing this so yeah i'm gonna throw the blazer over the top which i'll show you now so my blazer is from zara it's like nice and oversized got pockets i think it's very cute oh back back so this is how things are looking not bad not bad considering the circumstances so the blazer like i said is also zara my little chanel 19 is coming out to play I'm trying to work with this really bad lighting here there are two spotlights and i basically have to stand in between them otherwise i look like i should be in a horror film no it's not cute
Good morning everybody, it is Thursday. It is a very miserable looking day in London. You see all these cute pics of London and it looks all cute and sunny and autumnal at this time of year and I never get that when I come up here. It rolls out the clouds for me. But yeah, today it is Thursday. Today is our like little shopping day. Basically, when I was asked what I wanted to do for my birthday, my inner 13 year old came out and was basically like, I would like to just have champagne, go shopping, like just do like something fun like that. Really relaxed, I might literally just come away with beauty products, I really don't know. I have zero plans and zero expectations for this. So we've booked in for quite a few restaurants and things like that today, so I'm excited to bring you along with us. I'm hoping the weather holds out on me because I have all my favourite outfits like saved up for today. But plan of action for this morning is number one, sort my hair out because I really don't know what to do with it. I've just dry shampoo it as you can see but it's quite miserable at the moment but i think it's uh let me just get that i think it's meant to get a little bit nicer well a little bit drier throughout the day so i think i can just about get away with doing something to my hair so hair get dressed get the tube get some coffee and then crack on with the day i'm not gonna lie i would just love nothing more like that today's weather is like that kind of like stay in your pajamas and watch bake off kind of day and i would love nothing more than to do that right now but i am also very excited for our lunch and dinner reservations today so i do have to get up and get out oh update on last night we went to dishoom we did have to queue a fair bit to get in which i kind of thought we would it actually went by way quicker than i thought which was great it was so good so good and then we came back here i had a quick outfit change just because i wanted to wear like a really cute dress but obviously we were going to dishoom and it's just not really like a cute dress kind of place but we were then going for drinks on the rooftop of the hotel which is like the radio bar at the me hotel i can't remember if i said we're staying at the me hotel i quite like it here it's really good like location wise and i'm really glad that i didn't pick a hotel further out because apparently the cab situation right now in london is a little bit ropey we've just got one so far from the train station to here but i did kind of want to be able to walk to the majority of our like lunch and dinner reservations and given the petrol situation right now in the uk which i'm i'm not talking about apart from that i'm very glad that I made this call because there were lots of like very nice hotels that were like maybe in, in a slightly different location where you'd have to walk a bit more or get a cab but I'm very happy with this decision right now but anyway we went to the rooftop bar of the me hotel nice and easy like literally just need to get in the lift to get back to our room it was so nice and easy they brought me a cake which sadly i couldn't eat but they brought me a happy birthday cake it was so cute i nearly cried telling him that i couldn't eat the cake i actually was i was like teary <laughs> i was so sorry but anyway it was a lovely evening i now have a little bit of a headache because I mix my drinks. Why? You think I'm old enough to have learnt better by now? No. That is the plan of action for today. I'm gonna go get dressed now and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. These are our little outfit of the days. I'm pretty sure they're like all Zara. So I've got a Zara jumper on, Zara leopard print skirt, my mango coatigan, Converse. You are wearing Zara shirt, <laughs> Zara hoodie, Zara trousers, Nike. Shoes. I like the little, that was nice. I love this lobby. It is like my favorite lobby ever. It's so cool. And it's it. I said a lot of oat milk. So it is a little bit blustery, but the rain has stopped. The sun is trying to come out for us. So I will take that. I have my coffee. Thank goodness, because the situation was getting a bit ropey this morning. Very excited to go for a quick little shop before we have lunch. I booked lunch at Polpo at 12. And I haven't been in so long because they shut down in Brighton and it's like the saddest thing to me. I need some deep fried olives in my life. Mm, can't wait for them. You're very excited, aren't you? It is. Yes. We have done a little bit of shopping. We are now on our way to our drinks reservation of the afternoon and Ryan is preparing himself for an afternoon of borderline drunk shopping. Are you ready? So ready. I actually can't vlog. There's, there's such a height difference I can't vlog right now. <laughs> I'm like cutting you off. This is going to be an experience to you. I'm very excited to be bringing you along. And you, midday, I love it. Yeah, it's like one. It's one o'clock.
So we've made it to the food hall. Oh my God, are you excited? <laughs> We're going for one of these small vegan donut things. And then we're also going for one of these. Red Velvet is my absolute favorite and these are vegan, I'm so excited. I also made another purchase. I'm so excited to show you this one. I have been looking for these and had these on my wish list for such a long time. I can't tell you, I'm so excited. Right, I think we are done for today. The queue in Chanel was too long, so we are coming back tomorrow. That's probably the bougiest thing I've ever said. It's time to go and get ready for dinner. So ready for dinner. So my bags got a bit wet in the rain, but we did some good work today. Going back tomorrow. Mister is over here already tucking into the uh, snacks. Oh, that looks so good. So this is a s'mores donut. And then we have this little weird cupcake thing, which is Red Velvet, which is my fave. It has a donut on top, which I will be tucking into now. Good morning, Covent Garden. My favourite place in London in the morning. This gives me real throwbacks to when I used to work around here. Hands up if anyone remembers. Probably no one. This place looks like my kind of place. Stuffed cookies. day I'm wearing literally the saddest birthday outfit today because it is pouring it down with rain which is fine because who needs to be dry on your birthday? I actually didn't really get to finish vlogging yesterday because we got super delayed coming back home and we had to like change trains and stuff like that so we were running really late for having my friends around last night we had like a pizza party it was really cute I'll like insert some photos whilst I'm talking but it was so nice really really chilled the theme was 13 going on 30 I can't remember if I've said but it was really really cute everyone just wore their trackies we ordered loads of pizzas we've got so much pizza in the kitchen so much cake I had two cakes yeah that was really lovely and chilled and we also got to bed at like a decent time so I'm feeling really fresh today like I came in the bedroom this morning and Ryan was like waiting for me to be like and I was like 30 flirty and thriving I couldn't have asked for a better like way to wake up on my birthday than not feeling horrendous my skin looks good my hair looks good I was like if this is 30 I'm really okay with this so yeah had a lovely morning with my presents I've still got one more to open later So my afternoon ran away with me 
a little bit but I had a lovely brunch uh, I actually forgot to vlog my brunch partly because I was so hungry but also when I'm socializing I do tend to forget to vlog things I get really really carried away but anyway it is a little bit later we had a quick pop into town to pick up a pair of shoes which I will show you shortly and then literally got back here I think I got into bed and cuddled the dog for about half an hour before I had to start getting ready but I am ready for dinner and drinks so I've done my makeup I've got my little Dior pearly earrings in got this dress on which is from asos it was in my birthday outfits video i will link it if you haven't seen it so this is the one that i was going to wear during the week and i was going to wear the pearl dress this weekend and i decided to swap the two out because the weather's differed dramatically and the other dress was way better if it is like you know slightly better weather <laughs> i absolutely love it it's such a pretty dress so i've got this asos dress on my little balenciaga bag which i decided to go for i've got a little etsy bag chain phone chain on it we're going with pearls as like a nod to the fact that i should have been wearing a pearl clutch and a pearl dress i've got some rings on which are from pandora and then i've got these shoes which are from zara i wanted to get something that would go with this dress but would hold up a little bit better against water i had another pair which are light pink that i was going to wear with this dress and i just feel like the rain would have ruined them and i love wearing them for work and styling them for work so i decided to go with these because they are a little bit better in terms of like being weatherproof and yeah that is my outfit i really like this dress i love the ruche detail on it i think it's so pretty and depending on your height you can loosen it and kind of make it longer if you want you can make it shorter if you're shorter i just think it's a fab little dress on my lips i have anastasia beverly hills crush liquid lipstick with pure hollywood patted in over the top and my eyeshadows are hourglass so just to give you a little look in the light I really like this makeup it's really pretty and then i've got a mac blush on which i think is like desert rose just really lightly patted in over my cheeks to bring all of those rosy tones in together and then it blends really nicely with the dress as well and i also have my tiara and i've got one for my friend as well because it's also her birthday if you see me out don't judge me you only get to do this once but anyway i need to go now i'm gonna leave my vlogging camera here because i will lose it you also don't need to see this night out i'm sure been thoroughly spoiled this birthday also it's so pink it is bringing me so much joy literally so cute I have a real birthday hangover today it's not cute i woke up with the worst migraine it's monday by the way <laughs> i woke up with the worst migraine like they're, they're so bad they make me cry <laughs> it's been a real morning so i've been trying to pack for my next trip which is part of the continued birthday celebrations but this morning has been a struggle but I have makeup on. I'm pretty much ready. I just need to pop to the shops and get some things. I'm so glad that I am, I've got here and I've got to this stage. I think I will definitely show you what I got for my birthday later. But I definitely don't have time to go through that right now. I don't know if you can tell that I'm really shaky. The migraines just do that to me. But I thought this morning I would show you what I picked up from Selfridges and Chanel whilst we were in London. Because I realised I was editing the vlog back and I realised I didn't show you what I got. Although I feel like you will have seen a little sneak peek, but you didn't get the full what I got in Chanel. And I haven't fully shown you what I got in Selfridges either. So I thought I'd talk you through that this morning. But yeah, I have had the best birthday weekend. I'm just very tired now. There was a lot. I think this is like a socialising hangover for me i literally my schedule was booked solidly it's actually very hard to vlog you would think when you're doing more that it is easier to vlog but it's actually harder to vlog because you don't have a moment to like catch yourself and be like i need to talk to you guys you're literally just trying to meet your next like deadline of places you need to be people you need to see people you need to speak to like this morning in addition to packing i've been writing out thank you cards so like really running through that kind of like birthday to-do list and going through the motions so yeah, I definitely have like a royal birthday slash socialising hangover, but I did manage to get an hour or so last night to watch a bit of Squid Game, which was so good. I literally was like, I had a shower, sat with my like freshly washed hair, like my wet hair, and I was just like in my dressing gown, like, mm, yeah, really needed this. But yeah, it was such a lovely weekend. But anyway, let's get on and show you what I got in Chanel and Suffrages. Oh, I also forgot, I got something from Zara as well, which you will have just about seen, but not fully, which I will show you. And I actually have some video clips 
of me wearing as well that I did on my phone. What was I thinking? I honestly, I am all over the shop at the moment it is crazy we've had a bit of a crazy week to be honest like all of my birthday stuff has been going on i've had so much work stuff going on ryan has just last minute flown out to greece for work so it's just a little bit crazy right now my head is scrambled like well and truly scrambled so i'll show you what i got from zara in a second as well but you may have seen that there are two chanel bags this was not intentionally intentional ryan and i were like talking about what he wanted to get me for my birthday and he wanted to get me something special but we were kind of like back and forthing over what that should be he actually got me a couple of things but we obviously went into selfridges for the thing that i wish that i had got when i was picking up my birthday bag i saw it and i was like oh my god i really love that I took a photo of it to like remind myself of it just for future reference and i've been showing people and been like oh my god how cute is this i wish i got this so we went into chanel to get that which is what i have in this bag here but there is another gift behind me which is from ryan and we that we could have made our lives so much easier by doing one shop in there as things get busier in the day they kind of like stagger like when you can come in so it would have been so much easier if we had kind of pre-decided on this but we almost did like a little browse of everything first before like firmly deciding together so that is why we did two trips and didn't just do it in one it would have been so much easier on ourselves it means i got to go in twice and it's like the chanel on bond street is my favorite 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 store ever so yeah i saved this and i thought we could unbox this together my poor little bag got so ruined by the rain yeah this is what i wish that i got oh my god oh, this is so cute i since found out they also do it in a black and i was like oh, that would be so cute but i'm so excited i'm gonna have to try not to get makeup on this i'm so excited now that my hair is longer to be able to wear hats again i used to live like when i had really really long hair i loved wearing like a beanie hat during autumn winter it's just a lifesaver in general for like i have lots of like wispy bits on the top and it stops them getting like all up in my face like i have so many baby hairs you guys i can't even tell you and they get stuck so yeah there's like hair down here but it's nowhere near as annoying as the tiny wispy little bits of hair i don't know if you guys see in the vlogs i'm always trying to like get rid of these tiny tiny baby hairs but i love them when my hair is longer so now that it is longer this is part of the reason that i decided that i wanted to grow my hair i made this decision last december not to have my hair cut again my appointment got cancelled and i actually took a moment and i was like I actually would quite like for all of the things that I think we're planning on doing around my birthday this year I would quite like to be able to like wear like cute snuggly beanie hats and have like cute long brown hair so I made that decision a really long time ago to start growing my hair because I knew we'd just be doing such cute wintry like autumnal things around my birthday this year had a couple of weeks in Ibiza been a potential back then I would have got the bob cut back in and just stuck with that so yeah this is the hat that i got i just think it's so cute it's so cute in the black and white as well so that the gray bit is black and then the white stays white it's so so cute i love it the quality it just feels insane it's so thick but so soft i've never i have never had a beanie like this it's actually it's really gorgeous but yeah i'm gonna take this off now because i'm gonna ruin my freshly washed hair so yeah that is what i wished that i picked up along with my birthday bag and then been so excited Ooh, about this so as i said earlier in the vlog i've had these on my wish list for a really long time and i had seen some boots like this that were chanel boots and they were very very cute and i thought those would maybe be like a real treat to myself if they were in stock but i wasn't going for anything other than this exact pair of chanel boots that i'd seen that i really wanted however they are like completely out of stock and impossible to get hold of at the moment but these had always been on my wish list and I had planned to buy them. And then when I saw the Chanel ones, I was like, oh, maybe I'll get those instead. But I feel like this was fate because I came across them in Selfridges in my size. And I absolutely love these boots. Lots of you will know I love the Fendi monogram so much. So, so much. It is just beautiful. These are so comfy because it is like the stretchy fabric basically like a sock boot but flat and i am living for that these are very very comfortable the sales assistant actually did say to go a size half a size down because apparently they run big but i actually thought that the five was better for me and i'm a fairly standard size five i would actually say maybe like a small size five like i think one of my feet is a four and a half and one of my feet is five but i decided to go for the five number one so i could wear 
thicker socks if I wanted to but also because my feet swell a lot as I walk and though I don't like if I'm walking like walking a very long distance I will always wear my walking shoes like trainers like very 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 comfy trainers however you just don't know when you're gonna be like out and about in London and maybe need to walk a little bit further than you maybe anticipated and when I start walking my feet do really swell so I decided to go half size up because the four and a half were very like they were perfect for how my feet were at that time but my feet i hadn't been walking for that long at that point my feet weren't like that swollen i don't think so i just felt like they could swell more and if they maybe got a bit hot or if the sun came out it would be game over if i had the four and a half whereas the five just had a little bit more room so yeah i went for the size five but apparently it is a thing if you're looking to invest in these that lots of people do go half a size down but yeah i absolutely love them they are just gorgeous i'm so happy with them and they looked amazing with what i got from zara which i will show you now so i picked up the cardigan that i'd seen when i was in zara before it's like a almost like tweed textured cardigan but you can wear it as a dress which is what i did on friday and i wore it with the boots as well and they worked so beautifully together and then with my chanel bag which is like a tweed texture as well it worked really nicely because the chanel bag i got for my birthday it has the beige and like black tones so it all worked really beautifully together and there was a lot of texture which is something that i love in an outfit so yeah i was really happy with that and yeah it really saved me as well because it made like a whole outfit and i obviously forgot whole outfit so this was an excellent little like purchase on my part because i managed to wear it as like a dress which made it a whole outfit it was just so cute i was really happy with it so that is what i picked up in london plus my birthday present from ryan anyway right now i am almost ready to roll for a few days away i need to take i've got these tags from the hotel on absolutely everything yeah i am almost ready to go i literally packed this morning it's all very last minute so pray i don't forget any outfits but i think that's going to be it from me this morning guys i need to edit this vlog before i leave i think i have about 45 minutes so wish me luck thank you so much for coming along with me for my birthday i really hope you guys have enjoyed seeing everything that i've got up to so far and you can come hibernate with me because after this i am done for a very long time. But yeah, I love you all lots. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Bye.